Hey guys, I got some new inventory in here, a bunch of sneakers, and then some of my vintage finds here. All my stuff's always for sale on Depop at no big deal vintage, as well as my Instagram, O underscore Sebastian. That's O with four H's. And with no further ado, let's open some of this stuff up. The head scissors somewhere, oh yeah. All right, these are just some shoes from Nike. The dog just busted it. Blossom. pretty excited to hit on these. So these are Nike Dunk Close Halloween edition for this year. Last year they had a pretty cool pair. They were like glow in the dark with some pumpkins and stuff. But this year, this is what they are. Orange, white, black Nike check. The white sounds so white, but it's like a cream or something. But yeah, check these out. Maybe I put white laces on them, I don't know. But yeah, pretty cool. So this is a size seven. I believe I got another pair and then like a, a kid's pair. If you guys are interested in any of these. Again, you can just shop my Depop at no big deal vintage or my Instagram O underscore Sebastian. <laughs> Hey Blossom. Alright, let's see what we got in here. You see what I mean? They usually just put the shoe in the box and they'll double package and get that last one. Seven and a half. Let's see what we got here. Oh yeah. pretty sick. I could be wrong, Michigan dogs. Some people are going to kill me, but I'm recording with my phone, so I can't look it up right now, but wow, these are pretty cool. These dropped on the Nike sneakers app. Pretty sick. Sorry, I was just looking at the stitching on this. It's a little rough, but these are really nice. All right, another Nike box. Oh, nice, these are for the babies. These are gonna be little Halloween dunks in a size three Y or four and a half lemons. They always look so much cuter the smaller they are. Another Nike box. This is a six Y or a seven and a half women's. Another pair of those Halloween dunks.
Yeah, if no one takes that size seven fast enough, I'll probably keep it for myself. Originally, I got it to wear them on Halloween, and they got here, and then I just ended up not wearing them for some reason. toddler's pair or the infant pair oh look at that size 10 c so cute so cute look at that that's so cute just gonna leave those right there And then a little bit of vintage. Reebok NFL Pro line, a Dolphins windbreaker. A nice hit on the back there. A little Dolphins hit there. In a size large. Then we got this Oakley's snowboarding jacket here in a boys extra large. It would fit a woman's small or medium or a men's small because it fits me. It's a pretty badass jacket. Excuse my French. Orange liner here. This gets tight around the waist. So you don't get snow in you, I guess. A little inside storage. Another storage pocket here. Some zippered pockets. Yeah, it's a nice jacket. Nice little hood there. These Columbia fishing shorts. These are pretty cool. Check out those pockets on the back, like how they're angled there. And then you got those netted pockets in the front. Bunch of storage. These pockets go all the way to the bottom of the hem of the pants. That's pretty cool. I love the 2000s, like, technical gear. They put so much thought into it. Little pocket here. A little, I don't know, cool little closure. Yeah, these are just cool. They're adjustable at the waist. And these are a large in men's. I'll show you this little thrift find I have here, but it already sold on Depop. Some camo hunting pants. These are very cool. These were pretty cool because they have like drawstrings at the bottom. So you can. And then they were adjustable at the waist. First time seeing this brand, Field Staff by Mossy Oak. Oh, I know Mossy Oak, I didn't know they had like a sub brand. I'm just learning. This is pretty cool. I posted this up on my Instagram, no one bought it yet. It's a reversible windbreaker. Texaco on this side. And let's unzip it and flip it over. Okay, I'll put this bad boy on real quick. Texaco side. Two and one, baby. <laughs> Buy one jacket, you get two. Spill some coffee on the other, on one side, and just flip it over. <laughs> and shell on the other. It's a pretty cool jacket. Too bad these gas companies just pollute the earth with like no regard. They have no care, but that's a whole nother story. Um, I picked up this jacket, it just gave me Coogee vibes, obviously it's not a Coogee sweater, it says Pearly Australian Clothing Company, Pure New Wool. It's a sicko, look at that, the texture in this, the weight on it's pretty good. It's a cardigan, it could be a men's small, woman's small, woman's medium. 
it says large, so it's probably a woman's large, but it's more like, I don't know. But yeah, it's say It fits me as a men's small, and then it says women's large. But it's pretty gnarly. These buttons are pretty cool, too. What else do we have? Oh, this one was pretty funny. I found this at the thrift store. Quick delivery all day and night. Big Tony's Pizzeria. If you like my meatballs, you'll love my sausage. This is 2002. This is why I love vintage. Like, that's insane. This is 20 years old and it's still going around. Like, someone bought this. Who knows what they did with it. They dropped it off at the thrift store. Now I picked it up. Someone's going to pick this up. They'll keep it for a while and then they'll probably donate it or sell it themselves. way cooler than fast fashion yeah that's cool check that out <clears throat> and then last but not least i picked up this piece from the thrift store it was a all white american apparel woman's sweater and then i dyed it like the i don't know i was gonna say florida sunset but ever probably got sunsets like these obviously but this is a cool piece All right, cool guys, thanks for checking out all the new inventory. If you wanna check any of it out, buy it. It's all gonna be on my Depop and on my Instagram, okay? Thank you, have a great day, peace.